All right, Mopar people, welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe, and I'm here today with Mr. Rick Seaman working on our 508 build. So, so far, we have checked our bore spacing. We checked the big and little ends of the rods, checked the main bores. We are going to true deck this, and we're going to, he's going to finish on it today. So, I'll get to show you all those steps along with here's the shop itself if you haven't seen mr rick's channel yet check him out he is building a hemi so this is a cali's hemi block see here it's gonna end up being a 572 with the edelbrock heads these checked over nice stuff if you have not seen it go see the build series and you'll learn way more than you do for me so we'll go back to our 508 wedge here in just a second. So here's our final finish, and this is our profilometer. I'm gonna push the button that takes a reading. Slowly pulling in, it looks like. Show you a graph. Coming back out. And there's the RA 50.33. And that's what Comedic wants. Comedic wants 50 or better. There we go. We're going to roll her over. Here is the completed second side. We're gonna check the deck height on both sides now and reveal to you what they were skimmed. So this is a BHJ deck checking bar. I don't know the correct term for it. And that's a dial depth mic, is that right? Depth mic. Depth mic. 
and we took off ten thousands. Nice. You'll be zero dead. All right, we're using our profilometer to check this cylinder. This was hand honed, uh, probably every time since it was bored with a boring bar. And we're going to improve it today drastically. Hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> Hopefully drastically. Because we don't even know what it is yet. I don't know. <laughs> Boy, it looks smooth, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Of course, not that that tells you anything, but this will tell us. There's a couple of numbers that won't matter. Wow. I never thought it was that rough. 40. Wow. RZ matters. That's an unbelievable number. This never even been seen before. RV, that's beyond belief. RK. RPK, that's the peaks. And the valleys. Wow. That's... Uh, so it would have ran, but not held much oil, huh? I, I don't, I've never seen numbers like that before. So it did not take many strokes because we are on the upper end of our piston wall clearance. So he's getting a correct finish for oil and the actual rings that they call for. So we can check that in a minute with our profilometer and have a lot nicer job. We also need to include one more, another pass on all the cylinders with the finishing stone. Here's our final check on the surface finish. It sure looks a lot more consistent now. And he was riding the fine line of making it better without removing metal. The ones that matter are RK, RZ, RA, RVK, and RPK. So RA, 12, everybody's happy. RZ150 is supposed to be uh, 12 times RA, which is at nearly perfect. RV, wow. Uh, RK, you, you can't do much better than that on your best day. RPK, I think that's okay. I, that's not a number I spend a lot of time on. And RVK, you would like more, but it's a difficult number to achieve. So, I'd say we did uh, real good. I'm, I mean, I'm happy. It's a really nice block now. Yeah, I wish we would have had more RVK, but I mean, I think you always end up wanting more than you get. There we go.